Hi, this is Tumka Travels and today we are in Cambridge! Cambridge is an ancient university city only an hour from London. Known for its banishship and rivalry with Oxford, the two idyllic universities are collectively known as Oxbridge and long ago accepted their superiority over all other British educational establishments and they are both held in high regard worldwide. In fact, Cambridge currently ranks as the ninth best university in the world. So where does Oxford rank? Five. Awkward. The entirety of Cambridge is dominated by the ancient colleges, some of which you can visit and some of which you absolutely can't. In fact, your experience of Cambridge will be decided by which of the colleges are accepting visitors that day. Each college is an entity separate from the university itself, each of which has its own traditions, rules and ability to say no to Doris. And on the day we visited... All of them were saying no to tourists. Because Covid. And um, because we're not elite enough, or maybe rich enough, or you know what, Tory enough. Okay, okay, let's not get political on a travel channel. Well, is it not a fact to say that most Conservative MPs went to Oxbridge? It is. Then it's not political because it's a fact. Okay then. The biggest attraction of the city is King's College Chapel, which sits right in the middle of the city. Thankfully, the chapel is actually run by the university itself and subsequently allows visitors in. You've really got a bee in your bonnet about the colleges, don't you? Well, yes. I want to see what all the fuss is all about. Well, at least we got to see the chapel, which, let's face it, is absolutely stunning. It was built in the 15th and 16th centuries, and it has quite the ceiling. In fact, the roof is the world's biggest fan vault. And when you see carols from kings being broadcast on the BBC each Christmas, these are the kings they're referring to. What's the worst thing about this chapel, Jeremy? Your face. <laughs> Outside the chapel, the meadow of wildflowers meanders down to the river camp where punters bob pass on hot days. It's all very picturesque. And punting itself is one of Cambridge's most popular pastimes. A punt is a long flat boat and a person stands at the back with a big long pole pushing and steering the boat across the shallow and calm waters of the river. A bit like a gondolier in Venice but with less singing. It actually sounds simple enough to be honest and we had such a good time trying to punt. So what happened on the punting trip stays on the punting trip and we never ever speak of it again. Can we talk about it yet? No! Are you sure? Yes. What about... No. No, okay then. Look how happy you look there. Oh, I wasn't. I certainly was not. Do you remember that punting trip? We never speak of it again. That punting trip? No, we never speak of it again. That punting? Never speak of it.
The university's principal museum is the Fitzwilliam Museum, where art and antiquities from all over the world are displayed. With over half a million objects in its collection, it is one of the UK's most expansive museums. So, who was Fitzwilliam? Well, I'm glad you asked, Jeremy. He was Richard Fitzwilliam, the seventh Viscount Fitzwilliam, who was an art collector that left his collection to the university in his will. Well, that was nice of him. Wasn't it just... Cambridge is one of the few cities in Britain not to have a cathedral because it sits in the Diocese of Ely, just a short drive away. Hang on, King's College Chapel, the one with the fancy roof, isn't a cathedral. Well, the clue is in the name, dearest. It's a chapel. That's the biggest chapel I've ever seen. Well, the cathedral in Ely is pretty massive too. In fact, Ely Cathedral is one of England's largest and is pretty damn spectacular. With an abbey on the site since the 7th century, the cathedral dates back to 1083 and has grown and grown ever since. Unlike the town of Ely, which is actually remarkably small considering it has this whooping monolith in the middle of it. However, it does have another claim to fame, as Ely was also the home of Oliver Cromwell, the man who led the Civil War and murdered Charles I. Um, excuse me, he gloriously turned Britain into a republic. He was quite a hero. Okay, we're getting political again. Our final stop was Peterborough, another nearby city with a cathedral which is definitely worth checking out, even if the town itself is not anything special. Well then, all the more time to spend in Cambridge, and Cambridge absolutely lives up to its global fame. If they let you see any of it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe, but most importantly, subscribe. And follow us on Instagram at Team Quote Travels, where you can see all of my amazing photographs. Yes, yes, Jeremy, we are perfectly aware of the fact that all of the photographs are yours. But make sure that you tune in next time to find out where in the world we end up next. Until next time, folks. See ya. Bye. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. <laughs>